Next up, at UFC 288, we have American wrestler Phil Hawes taking on Russian wrestler Ikram Iliskirov. Phil Hawes, 12-4 and four overall. Five. Three and two in his last five. What is going What? I read the wrong thing. Coming off that loss to Roman Delidze, he's taking on Ikram Eliskarov. It's a battle of the nations, Jacob. This is America versus Russia. Well, wrestler versus fight. wrestler. Who's the better wrestler? It should have been the Bryce fight. Well, that's you know gone Arkansas now. wrestling is better than whatever the hell Phil Hall <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> the, 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 so anyway, Junior Ikram, high wrestling that Phil Hawes has, whatever that is. At least get off 13 and 1 overall. He is 5 and 0 oh in his last five. His one and only loss in his career is to Hamzat Shemaev, which people love commenting. Dude, his only loss is to Hamza. It's like, well, it's a loss, right? And he got yeah, finished. It yeah, I was going to say it wasn't like a back and forth. It wasn't a back and forth affair. It was like a, what, a knockout in a minute 30 or something like that. Yeah, no, people love saying this guy's a beast. He lost Just to Hamza. You, that's a, that is funny okay. when people like fight good people. It's like, he's fought this and this and this. It's like, if it's not a close fight, then who gives a shit? He got finished by Hamza. But anyway, he actually is very good. Ikram is a Russian wrestler. Uh, and he fights, you look at that beard, all beard, no mustache. You know exactly how this dude is going to fight. And that's how he fights. He's a phenomenal wrestler. He's going to come forward, do everything possible to get those takedowns. Constant body locks, tie-ups, shots. When he gets you to the ground, he is impossible to shake. He's just going to latch onto you. He's really hard to get off. Um, his striking is just okay. He's got just a real high guard. But he does have really nice long kicks. And he'll throw like a flying knee out of nowhere. He did it like He's- a Power Ranger. <laughs> Dude, my kids have been... My, <laughs> my kids are obsessed. <laughs> My youngest will walk around going morphin time and then just do some stupid. They know Power Rangers, cuts. really? That's still a thing. It is. It's made a full comeback. They just came out with a new Power Rangers movie with the original cast, oh, minus shit. the red one, because he's in prison for PPP. I fraud. thought one just died. No, he's in prison for PPP. I fraud. thought a Power Ranger just died. Or died no, he's in late. prison for PPP fraud. I'm pretty sure one died. I saw like yeah. rest in peace stuff. Well, for his asshole. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Phil Hawes <laughs> Phil Hawes is a phenomenal wrestler, phenomenal athlete. He's powerful. He's explosive both with his striking and his grappling. And his striking continues to improve. We're going to talk, oh, he's got no chin. He's got no chin. I, I get it. I get it. The dude's been knocked out. He's been wobbled. He's been rocked. I get it. Let's put the chin stuff aside. His technique is solid. He was touching up Chris Curtis, no problem, before he got caught. And he does look good out there. He's fast. He's powerful. He's a Division I national champion wrestler that has accomplished everything that you could accomplish at that level. And he is coming off that loss to Roman Delize, where he was technically knocked out, but he literally was fighting with one leg, right? He had a sick duck under takedown. Soon as they hit me, the... his his toughness literally cost me a lot of money. Because you wanted a fight. submission. I yeah. had a, it was a second round. I had second round submission for Roman. Delito no, I think it was the first. I think I think it's the second. But anyway, yeah, it, 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 I mean, he popped his knee and didn't get submitted, and I, I lost that bet. Yeah, his knee was absolutely destroyed. That is why he was TKO. He was just sort of bounced around on his feet. But this is an interesting fight because the reality is they're both phenomenal wrestlers. Ikram has the international wrestling experience, right? If you go to his Wikipedia, Jacob shared it with me. You go to his Wikipedia, it's just international thing after international thing. Sambo, Phil Hawes. Baby. Sambo. Yep. But those are different styles of wrestling. And those are those styles of wrestling actually translate well to MMA right. because it's tie-ups tie and trips and stuff like that instead of just shooting blast doubles. But it's going to be interesting because Phil Hawes is a phenomenal wrestler. And if Phil Hawes wants to implement the wrestling... I think he'll get the takedowns, no problem, right? I think he will get those takedowns, shooting doubles, running through Ikram. If this fight stays striking, Phil Hawes will have a giant advantage. Chin aside, a huge advantage. The only concern here is if Ikram gets a takedown, I feel like Phil Hawes is going to be clueless off his back. I think he's going to have absolutely nothing to offer if he is taken down. But I'm interested in this fight. Listen, the reality is Ikram probably does win. But I got 20 bucks on Phil Hawes, man. 20 bucks for America. I just want to see this happen. I want him to come out there, wrestle hard. He he is not getting the credit he deserves as an athlete, as a wrestler. And yes, he's got a couple of knockout losses. He can't control his chin, but you haven't seen him in a fight where he sucks. You know what I mean? Like, he's doing well, gets clipped. Has that nice takedown for Roman Delize, and then gets knee barred by a world champion grappler. That shit's going to happen. This They gave him a wrestler... 
It's the first time we're going to see him versus a pure wrestler, and I hope he goes to those Iowa wrestling roots, gets those takedowns in, and runs through them. But the reality is he probably loses, but I do have a $20 bet at plus 175, literally for America. I did it for me. I want to root for him. I want him to win. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Ikram kind of looks like uh, like a New Jersey Russian. I mean, he's kind of got that New Jersey look to him with with the curly hair. Because like yeah, it's curly. And the, and the, I mean, he got he has that. Uh, then Frankie Edgar grew that out, right? And it looks just like Frankie Edgar's hair when yeah. he grew it out. So he, I mean, he's sporting the uh, the New Jersey look here. And uh, in my quick pick video, I literally said that if I was Phil Hawes, I have no idea why I sign on the dotted line versus a guy named Ikram. I mean, that is the mo- one of the most terrifying names I've ever heard. I'm going to fight a, game, a guy named Ikram, and he does exactly what you think a guy like Ikram would do, as you mentioned, with the Sambo techniques, and that translates so well into MMA. I think Sambo beats just American wrestling 10 out of 10 times, and I've never seen a guy coming up besides Islam that fights like Khabib in the way that he takes down and controls people. I mean, with the Dagestani handcuff and just his entries, because he is decent at striking, and he can use his striking at with his entries, where I think Islam and some other people can get a little bit desperate with their takedowns, even though they still can get them. I think that he sets up his takedowns really, really well, and once he gets them, his top control is, is very, very good. The issue is, for this fight, that gives me a little bit of a red flag is, as you mentioned, Phil, very well-versed, can make him work in those takedown attempts, and I've seen fights where Ikram second round third round even in fights that he's controlling slows down a little bit right I mean those takedowns are a little bit more labored so if Phil Hall can make him work early if he gets a clean takedown off the rip because both these guys kind of have gas tank issues we still we've seen Phil kind of kind of gas before and he seems like he's kind of cleaned that up but off his back I guarantee he probably gets tired so if Phil can make him work early and not let Ikram get that first takedown. Because if he gets that first one, I think he's going to dominate the whole fight. But make him work early. There is a world where Phil Hawes can kind of, kind of sneak out, maybe lose the first round still, but kind of turn up that second win, win the second round, win the third round, and, and win this fight. So I'm on the Ikram side because I do believe he is the better grappler of the two. He's going to get the takedowns. He's going to have the top control. He's going to be able to control this fight. But the gas tank is like a little bit, you know, big UFC debut, the big moment, the bright lights. Weirder things have happened than Phil Hawes coming out. Out, uh, defending a few takedowns and, and having probably the uh, the more dynamic striking advantage. So I'm going Ikram, but everyone that's saying, oh, the you know, the beard with the Russian, he's going to dominate, put him in parlays. I'd be like, yeah, let's let's let him win one first and then start throwing him in parlays. No, I hear you. And uh, Phil Hawes had cardio issues, but those are resolved, right? We saw him have cardio issues early in his career, and then ever yeah, since that Kyle Dawkins fight, he looked good. He has different. When, down. Yeah, when you're controlling the fight. It's a little bit different than fighting off your well, back. Well, Kyle Dawkins was trying to wrestle him. Obviously, completely different world. Well, yeah, I mean, that guy's not in the UFC anymore. And his brother. Yeah. What was that next week? Uh, I don't know. I didn't break down next week yet. Anyway. Um, DraftKings is going to be interesting because I think somebody... I, I think if Ikram wins, I think he scores really well. If Phil wins, he may not score that well. He may have just defended some takedowns and win the striking exchanges, which we've seen him do. So, you know, if you're all in on Ikram, as I see some of you are in the live chat, then $9,100 is probably a good price because, you th- you know, people tell, oh, Phil Hawes sucks. Phil Hawes does not suck. He's fast, powerful, athletic, national wrestling champion, solid, clean boxing. Like, he can't control his chin. That is what it is, and his chin is not great. But, man, like I said, he was piecing up. Go watch a Chris Curtis fight. He was piecing up Chris Curtis Relax. before he got caught. So, anyway... Uh, I'm definitely not going to throw Phil Hawes in my lineup, but Ikram at 9,100, if that's the side you're on, he probably scores really well, either with takedowns or some sort of finish. What do you think? You agree? Yes? Great. Congratulations. You don't agree? Well, I just thought you finished it for me. I didn't. I just thought it's a, you, you slammed your mouse, and that's usually I'm about to move on. Well, just waiting for that answer still. Well, seemed like you kind of answered it for me, jackass. All right, then. Well, stupid ass. We want picks.com become a member, I join this fabulous community of 2,000 plus people. We want picks.com, just click become a member. It's ten dollars. You unlock literally everything, and uh, you get a nice yellow tag yeah. in the Discord. 